Hello and welcome to the Perfect Tower 2. I haven't played the first one, I don't even know if there is a first one, but anyway, it doesn't matter. This is a game that is in early access and it is also free to play. Alright, let's get started here. I think music and everything is fine. Uh, start. I'm not going to skip the tutorials because I haven't played this. And I find that uh, paying attention to the tutorials is actually important for me. Because I'm not as smart at figuring things out like I thought it would be. Alright, let's unpause it. This is our tower. Our tower, I'm assuming, is going to shoot some things. Indeed, it is... Can I upgrade them? I do, because I have some experience. Okay. Cool beans. Attack speed. Uh, pretty self-explanatory here. Seems relatively simple. Uh, tower defense games are always one of those games that uh, they're either going to be pretty in pretty engaging or they're not. I, I feel that there's really no kind of in, in between. It just seems to kind of always be the same thing. Um, we have a single tower, and I'm up. I'm, I'm shooting and stuff. I, I don't know if all 100 waves are essentially the tutorial. Which, if so. It seems like an excessively long time uh, for a tutorial, so I'm going to think that that's probably not the case, and I've probably finished the tutorial, because it was pretty self-explanatory in the beginning. Pretty easy to kind of figure out. Um, feels nice and chill, though. I mean, it's not... Um, not overly difficult. It seems like it's kind of moving along. Um, hopefully we see some different types of enemies. I don't know that we will. Oh, there's a big guy coming. That's cool. I do wish this could be smaller. Um, I mean, I can get rid of this, uh, right? Somehow? Maybe not? Well, we definitely get some new enemies who are... Green, uh, but relatively the same. Okay, cool. Well, uh, I guess it's gonna be like a couple of minutes of uh, just this sort of stuff. Watching a, watching a tower shoot things. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know that there's actually anything more to it. Um, I am getting close to death that might actually happen which could be good because then we get to see like what happens afterwards all right there we go so that is supposed to happen sweet uh dr cubicle chit chat a bunch of stuff we failed indeed we did all right we're free to explore as we please i can add a whatever this is uh Okay, I've, I've done that. And now I can make a workshop, and I cannot afford a headquarters, but hey, at least I can make something. See what kind of cool stuff this gives us. Uh, no idea.
I don't want to do tower testing yet. I want to... Can I do anything with the workshop? All right. Uh, yeah, introduce me to the workshop. I can uh, permanently upgrade your towers modules. Sweet. That seems super important. This is all your unlocked modules except the ones which are currently inside your blueprint. Uh, move money. Blah, 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 blah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Easy. Makes sense. Basic attack. Here we go. And attack speed. Own foundation and this and I have one oh I guess I don't have any of these I guess I didn't really pay attention to this um, I don't have any of these it would appear so I'll need to go and play and then come back and get a couple of these what did, what did they say? I already forgot. Uh, oh. the workshop, blueprints. I think I need these kind of kind of hooked up. Um, and then once I get some of these things, I'll be able to potentially level up a bit. I think that is what it means. So, this will test. I don't think we have a do we have a fast forward. Yeah. What is this? I can just get like I don't actually know what this is doing. Oh, I get it. It's so that I can um you know wait to do stuff. Well, that makes sense. The big thing for me is going to be um, actually making enough uh, to really see what it's like when I am doing uh, some of the um, I don't know some of the stuff. I guess I really know what I'm trying to say. I think I, I want to see how these uh, the blueprints kind of actually really work. I do like the simplicity of it. it. It's nice to have something that's, you know, pretty simple, but at the same time, like, I mean, if you're not, like, really into tower defense games, I, I couldn't say that this is going to convince you otherwise. It's not, like, bad by any means. It's definitely got its moments. It is free to play, which is also really cool. I mean, free to play, early access. Oh, there's good potential for it to change as time goes on and become something uh, pretty impressive. Potentially. I wish we could see how much damage we have left to go on the enemies we are fighting, but that's not really that big of a deal. Basic bouncing. Alright, let's um, convert as many of these as we can. Alright, so I have these. Attack speed. Nope. 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 Basic attack one. Uh, here we go. We can actually do this. So our basic attack means that um, we start off by doing a bit more damage, which is good. It's bouncing. Okay. So this should. Um, Give us a little bit of a of a better shot here, if I am understanding correctly. So I like that permanent system of upgrades. So uh, we do a little bit more damage from the get go. Uh, just kind of everything puts us in a in a slightly better situation than we would have been uh, prior. Which means that as time goes on, you'll eventually just kind of do really well. A very cool aspect. This 
definitely one of the situations where the simplicity of the artwork actually kind of does a favor to the game. Um, I think anyway. Like the simplicity of your tower compared to everything else, it kind of goes goes together really well. Because we've got, um, you know, the the trees. You know, it, everything I guess kind of looks a little similar, but I don't know. I, I I like it. I think it's good. Chill music in the background. I feel like I should definitely put uh, more of my points towards the attack speed. Uh, damage is nice, but being able to attack faster certainly seems to be what's going to kind of keep my guy alive. And by guy, I mean tower, of course. I don't know that I'm going to do this too many more times. I mean, I, I, outside of, like, obviously there is far more things that you can upgrade and, and unlock different modules and all that good stuff. Uh, the general gist is this. I personally am not huge into tower defense games. They're just not really my jazz. Occasionally, one will be something that really kind of captures my interest, and I, I just find myself kind of hooked to it. Um, this is not one of those times, uh, not because it's bad, not because it's, uh, not interesting. It just, it just, it's just not enough to like really kind of pull me in. Um, and I think it's probably because the way this plays, the way this feels, I think I would have to play this several times to really kind of get to the point of, uh, making enough progress each time to where I felt like it was really kind of kind of worth the effort and the time. I don't think the pacing is necessarily bad, but I almost wonder if I could just do this and go make a sandwich, come back, and then I would have like a whole bunch of stuff if it just keeps um, kind of doing these things. Like, I could do that, and I'm not going to, but it is cool to know that that is an option. Yeah, we'll lose the XP we just got that time. We don't need it. All right, and basic attack. We can do that a couple more, one more time, I guess. All right, so I mean, like, I, I, I literally could just go and like, like oh, do different things. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm gonna take this, and I can also take this in a more detailed region for each one. Select the game mode and difficulty. I don't think I need that one. Uh, that seems like a really good idea. Skill points seem to come from leveling up. That's pretty cool. Exotic skills. Uh, don't have any of this. All right. Oh, and then we still have this. Oh, yeah, I forgot to, like, make some of these. You get the headquarters to max server. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that means that I get, like, an extra tower or something. But there's a lot of stuff to unlock. Like, I mean, there's a huge amount of things that I can unlock. So that's very cool. So, I mean, if it's a game that you really like, like, if you really kind of get into this, I mean, it's certainly going to be something that you'll be able to play for for quite some time. I do like that it has that kind of auto mode, uh, the auto restart, because I could just leave it like going for a while and then go and uh, do some other things that I need to do and then kind of come back to it. Like that is certainly a thing I could do. And I think that's cool. So it's a look at the perfect tower too. It's really just a kind of first impressions video. Uh, definitely recommended for fans of the tower defense genre. I don't think you'll be you know, too disappointed with it. I think you'll have a good time with it. I think it um, definitely has some charming qualities and aspects. In any case, the link is in the description. If you play it and you like it, make sure you leave a review. 
Thanks for watching.